Here lies Bone Hilda. Disrespected! Who will be the first bedroom? Oh, there's only three of us left. <gasps> Lil Simsy. Oh, I have big plans for this. Big plans. Or shall I say, Lil Plans. Feel free to unsubscribe. Hey, y'all. So... <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me to do this. I have been involved in a few of these, which is such an honor. I have seen a couple people do The Sims 4, but every room is a different YouTuber. I have never done anything really like this before where I've involved other people. I usually just keep the horrors of my channel to myself. I don't like to involve others. They don't need to get involved in this mess. But today, they're getting involved in the mess. I have five YouTubers who are all my friends included in this. I have a little wheel to spin. It's gonna be a good time. So each room is gonna be themed after these YouTubers, which I assume most of you know and love these people as well. So the YouTubers that I'm going to be building rooms based off of is Lil Simsy, Lauren's Eastside, LD Shadow Lady, Stepho Sims, and Plumbella. All wonderful, wonderful ladies. Here is the house. I pre-built this just to save myself some time, but I've made this little house. It sticks out really far in the back. Let's not pay attention to that too much. Let's not get too close. I don't know what style of house this is. It's like a modern cottage. I have no idea. Not a clue. Anyways, the inside, ignore this. I was using this to figure out spacing, but I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I have six rooms. Shoot. Maybe I'll do one for me. Ooh, a Vixella themed room. That sounds fun. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll add myself to the list. <laughs> it's so stupid. And if you guys really like this video and you want to see me do this particular one again with YouTubers and you want to see some other YouTubers that you like involved, leave them in the comments down below and maybe I will get to them. Could be fun, could be fun. So we're gonna start right off the bat with the living room. There are no windows in here and that's really sad, but that's just how it had to be, okay? Who will be the first victim? Let's see. Oh, oh, it's Lauren! Oh my god, it was so close! Lauren Z. Side, the galaxy queen. It is time to make this all galaxied up, baby. Starting with wallpaper and flooring. I'm gonna try my best to find something that fits this theme. I'm not sure if there's like a galaxy wallpaper. Maybe? Does that kind of look like stars? This is harder than I thought. <laughs> How about we go with this? It's blinding to the eyes, but it's purple and it kind of looks like stars. So we're gonna go with it. Now we do need a flooring as well. There's still really nothing that looks like the galaxy. So I might just go for something like dark. I don't know what to do for flooring. That's hard. I think it's really gonna thrive when we do the furniture. I hope. So since it's a living room, let's go ahead and get the TV situation all set up. I'm going super big TV in here. You know what? Dare I go even bigger? Oh, this is so hard. Okay, so like what couch do I choose? I need a lot of purple. That, oh God, this is hard. Here we go. I sorted by purple. Oh, she does like scary things. So let's give her the ghost couch. <laughs> Is there a ghost love seat? Sims 4, why? Every it's like every time. I, it never ceases to amaze me how this game has nothing matching. I want to cry in a corner right now. I literally want to cry. I know that doesn't match, but it looks a little spooky, so I'm kind of I'm kind of into it. I have no idea what to do for a coffee table, but I know it snows where she lives, so I'm gonna give her a fire pit for a coffee table. You can thank me later. Oh, there's even a purple one. Perfect. <laughs> now for a rug. Ooh, this one has moons on it and stars. There we go. It doesn't match at all, but it fits the theme, okay? It doesn't have to match if it fits the theme. Is there any bread stuff I can use? A bread box? Chalky bread's menu. Breadfruit tree? Wait, what? What's a breadfruit? She'd probably love that. <laughs> There's bread all over this. She would love it. Here we go. I found all the bread. I found the bread. The bread is in the house, baby. Oh my God, look at that. I'm gonna make it even bigger. Piece of bread there. Make it bigger. Some more bread there. She's cuckoo for bread. Okay, I know this isn't technically just bread, but this is a hamburger and there's two, two things of bread on there. So honestly, it's going in the room. There you go. You're welcome. I know what you like. <laughs> okay, is there any galaxy pictures? There definitely are. <gasps> Wait, is that bread? Those look like cinnamon rolls. I'm not even sure. I'm not actually sure that is bread, but I can't take any chances. If I do find any pictures of a galaxy. Oh, here we go. Here's a galaxy painting. I've made the TV so big that there's no room for any paintings now. <laughs> that is my own fault, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. And the couch is so tall. <laughs> can't see the painting. Oh no. Okay, there have to be some like statues that resemble Lauren in a way. Oh, maybe this alien? Dude. Yes. Maybe this little brown dog could be Dexter. He's like brown and black. Oh, maybe more like that. There we go. That's Dexter. Ooh, some tombstones. 
<laughs> she does like spooky stuff, it's true. She does like her fair share of spooky games. I feel like if I mess anything up here, it's like offensive. <laughs> Cause I know these people in real life and it's like sad. <laughs> If I mess it up, I'm just gonna fill in the space right there. I hope that's okay, Lauren. All right, moving on to the kitchen, which is gonna be right here. All right, who will be the kitchen? Let's remove Lauren. Goodbye. And let's see who the kitchen's gonna be. <gasps> LD Shadow Lady. Oh, it's gonna be cute. So when I think of Lizzie, I think pink. So that is exactly what I'm going for. Pink and cute. This kitchen's huge. And then we can even fit an island in the middle. So I think what I'm going to do, is there a pink sink? I will be surprised. Oh, there's this one. Oh, but it's yucky. I'm just going to give her a good sink. I respect her too much to give her that crappy sink. I'm actually going to do, because this is such a big kitchen, I'm going to do like a double oven situation. I actually think there might be a pink oven. Oh no, there's like a mint green one, which you know what? She would probably think is cute. If we're going to have the mint green stove, we might as well have the, the mint green fridge. Look how cute it is. It is really cute. Now I need a matching cabinet. I found it. Beautiful. You'll love to see it. All right. So the cabinets are in. It actually looks crazy. <laughs> we do need a trash can. This this one's for all the fans out there that will actually rip my head off if I don't put one in here. I have a hard enough time choosing bar stools as it is. So I'm like, do I do this hot pink one? Do I look for a mint green? I don't know. Oh wait, I actually found a mint green. Wait, that's kind of cuckoo. I don't even know, does she like mint green? I'm just making assumptions over here. I know she likes pink. This is a cute pastel color. She likes pastels. I'm just gonna assume. Okay, so sorry if I'm wrong. I'll give you a pink microwave, beautiful. And just for funsies, I'm going to give you a chocolate fountain, beautiful. And for the middle of this giant island, I think it needs like some flowers or something. I think she would like these. They have the cutest little faces. There they are, they're beautiful. Now we do have a little bit extra room. I don't know for what though. I'm going to put curtains in front of this door though. Cause I think that's something that she would enjoy. Ooh, but which ones? These literally blend in with the walls. I think she would like the rainbow one. I think so. Some of y'all might think this is silly, but every time I go to England, we always go bowling. <laughs> so I'm literally going to put this bowling trophy case in the kitchen. It's happening. Every time I see them, I bowl. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This might've worked better in Lauren's room, but it fits that space so perfectly. It's gotta go there. I'm gonna put a bunch of treats over here. Not necessarily for dogs, not necessarily for cats. A little bit of both because they have a cat and a dog. Here are some things I think she would absolutely love. This little turtle. Oh, this little guy. Oh my God, it's so cute. Let's do like the yellow one. We'll switch up the colors a bit. Cute. Oh my God. Oh, this is look, yeah, now I'm doing it. Now I feel like I'm doing something good. We have a little penguin. And I'm gonna put another one of these turtles over here only because this one looks like a little strawberry and it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I'm going to put this here. Not that I think she knits. I actually don't know, but how cute is this item, right? I think she'd like it. Beautiful. Now that's looking much more like a Lizzie kitchen. She does collect these things in all of her Minecraft series. She collects all the cutest things. So there you go. Moving on to the dining room. Okay. We have a lot of freedom here. I feel like let's remove LD Shadow Lady from the running and here we go. Oh, <laughs> Steph -o sips. Interesting. When I put Steph in here, all I could think of was whatever room she gets has to be completely insane. I just all over the place. <laughs> Cause her videos release this aura of chaotic energy that I, I have to try to replicate in this room. So all I'm thinking while I'm making this is chaotic. Even Yuna's getting up. She's butt in the air ready. She's like, I, I don't know if I can handle the chaotic energy that's about to happen. She also likes pink. Why does that remind me of Steph? Should it? No, you know what? I like it. I feel like that's something she would use. I feel like now the wallpaper is just like not doing it justice. Is there no wallpaper that matches this flooring? Oh, ew. This is the only one that matches. You know what? I hate it, but I'm gonna make it work. I like the color. It's it's giving off. I like it. I'm gonna use it. Okay, so this is a dining room, so we do have to have a table. Oh my god, yes. When I think of Steph, I think of like a mixture of designs and all, you know, a lot of things. Why are these- These chairs literally are not connecting to the tables. I'm offended. I'm gonna have to tone down the table. <gasps> yes! Oh my god! Ah, it's even better! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there they go. Now they want to sit with the table. Oh my god, that's a table made for queens only, and that's it. That's perfect for Steph. If I was gonna have a centerpiece for this table, I don't think Steph would just put the flower. I feel like she would go the extra mile and put like a full on egg, like just a full egg right on the table. I have to respect her wishes. Look at that, it's actually majestic. Now for a rug, this could be dangerous. Some of these rugs were not meant to be used in their chaotic forms. 
Are those flower petals? What? I kind of like that. I think that fits the theme perfectly. I'm actually going to put this little dog on the wall because I know how bad she wants her own dog. And I'm going to put that there to help her manifest her dreams. She's also really good at makeup. So I feel like I have to include that in here somewhere. I'm going to try to find some paintings that have like really pretty makeup looks. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to look. I was thinking maybe these girls you can't really see their makeup, but you can just tell that they're like probably really good at it. But I feel like I could do better. I might actually just put this like makeup tray on the dining room table. She's like, you know what? Makeup at the table. It's how she would want it. At the other side of the table is where she writes down all of her chaotic video ideas. How is she gonna torture Trisha Paytas in the next video? I'm sorry, Tisha Potatoes. Is that right? If I'm wrong, I'm gonna hate myself. Is it Trisha Potatoes? It's Tisha Potatoes. Tisha Potatoes? God, I'm a fake fan. But I also feel like deep inside, she's a softy. So I feel like I should give her one of these. Like, I know deep inside, you you are you are a softy. Actually, it's probably not really even that deep inside. <laughs> It's, pro it's probably pretty surface level. We've cried together many a times. We have photos to prove it. I'm gonna put these giant bottles of water on the ground because she has a beautiful song, H2HO. I do love it. I'm a big fan. I'm gonna put those over there to represent that beautiful, beautiful piece of art that she made. Oh my God, a water balloon bucket. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> Okay, I need stuff on the walls. I don't know what to put on the walls. I'm stumped here. I'm gonna put some balloons because I feel like the inside of her mind is just a party constantly. Ooh, I'm going to put this frog here to represent the Kermit the Frog that she had in the background. I don't know if it's still there, but it used to be. And I, I remember it so fondly. And just in case that's not enough, I will- What the- This goes on the ground? Oh, here we go. I knew one of them went on the wall. This represents Kermit. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'll put Kermit over there. <laughs> I have one more spot on the wall. Who, what, who's gonna take it? I'm actually gonna put this on the wall because my girl's a star, beautiful. All right, that is Steph's room. The difference between like the pinks, you know, like Steph's pink is like bright, really out there. And then you go to Lizzie's room and it's like, la la la, like really cute and like peaceful. <laughs> okay, moving on to the first bedroom. I'm gonna do bedroom, bedroom, bathroom. Who will be the first bedroom? Oh, there's only three of us left. <gasps> Lil Simsy. Oh, I have big plans for this big plans. Or shall I say, little plans. Feel free to unsubscribe. Okay, I already knew what I was gonna do way ahead. As for wallpaper and flooring, I honestly don't know. My plans lie in a totally different direction. You'll see. I know the houses that she builds are typically blue suburbans, so I will make the inside of this house just like a nice blue suburban. <laughs> And then the flooring, we've turned this room inside out. So now it's the outside of a blue suburban, right? So now for the flooring, I'm just gonna have to make it, and she's gonna hate this, grass. <laughs> but there's a reason for this, and I will show you. I am gonna make this whole room, cow plants, since, what the hell? No! <laughs> <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Oh, no, no, no. What? <laughs> Look, we have to do what we have to do. It's a shrine. <laughs> One day that seed will grow into something beautiful. <laughs> but it is still a bedroom after all, so I will make it a bedroom. But I felt like that was a really crucial part of this. Is there like a cow themed bed? Like with cow print? That would be perfect. I don't think there is. I know, okay, this just looks like grass. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it. I almost feel like trolling her a little bit by doing things that EA does just to make her angry. Like instead of putting like a nice big painting above this, like something just really nice and pretty, they would then, they would do something like, you know, this. <laughs> just to really get on her nerves. <laughs> I know in her office, she's got this big plant. So I think I'm gonna try to replicate that with one of these big plants. Like maybe this one right here. I think this one will do the job. She does have a cat and I've looked at pictures and I can't tell if she's like orangey or gray, but the oranges are like really, that's a dog. I'm <laughs> so I'm gonna go safe and just go with this one instead. I know she only has one, but I wanna make them match. Okay, I'm not evil. Ooh, okay, this isn't, <laughs> that's a zebra. That's not a cow, but it is black and white. Oh, oh, there's a tiger. Oh, we're getting so close. I need to, I need to 
cow print. Oh my God, you've let me down. I might go for that. I know that's not a cow. Oh my God, that's not even close. Wait, isn't there like a, there's a polka dot one. Oh, but it's so ugly. <laughs> okay, I know that's not even close to a cow print, but I'm just gonna go with it because I can't, I can't find anything better. I keep looking and I just keep getting more upset that I can't find anything better. Justice for cows. <laughs> she is also quite the Twitch streamer. So I'm going to put this big fancy desk in here for her so she can stream. She's got a nice big gamer chair like me. So we'll give her that right there. They're beautiful. She's got a bunch of Sims paintings on her wall as well, or like on her little shelves. So I will put a few of those in the back, just over here somewhere. One of these. Wait, is that the only Sims painting? <laughs> Wait, wait a minute. Maybe one of these. Beautiful. And she is from Florida. So I am going to give her this boat that she's going to need when it eventually just rains so much that the whole entire state goes underwater. I feel you, girl. I'm next. I feel like this cat looks really similar to her cat. So I'm just going to put it there. And then over on the side, I need one more thing. I'm going to put the cat mirror. Doesn't take up that much space, but I'm going to do it. And there you have it. <laughs> this room makes no sense, <laughs> but it's Lil Simsy's room. All right, now I know there's just me and Plumbella left, but I think I know what I'm gonna do. I have too much respect for Plumbella to make her the bathroom. Plus I had bigger plans. So I want her to have the bedroom. I'll make myself the bathroom. I feel like that's fitting for me. <laughs> also, fun fact, me and Plumbella have the same birthday. July 5th was a fantastic day to be born. I'm so sorry for the rest of you who weren't born on that day. Yikes, kind of cringe. Couldn't be me or Plumbella. All right, so I'm gonna do the bathroom as me first and just get it over with. <laughs> so part of me just like went straight to just make a normal bathroom, but I have to make it like me, right? So, okay, I need I need tile that's like, I guess pink. Oh God, that's terrible, isn't it? Now I know how everyone else feels. It's not good. I have like a darker pink though in my hair, but I don't, I just don't think they're really gonna deliver. No, I'm just gonna go with that. That's fine. <laughs> that's my way of getting out of that. Okay, moving on. Let's put in a toilet. <laughs> It's a toilet for me. It's my size. <laughs> oh, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm only five foot zero. I am actually the size of a child. So I'm gonna put a child potty in here. Perfect. <laughs> I also don't know what sink to put. Is there a pink sink? I truly don't think there is. I'm actually kind of curious. Oh, you know what? I am gonna go with this because it's a little modern. And as we know, I did one modern build and suddenly I'm an expert. So that's perfect. Now I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown. I love a good bathtub. I do. I am a sucker for a good bubble bath on a stressful day. Nothing makes me happier. And you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. <laughs> I am gonna treat myself. I want this big bubbly bath, but I also want a shower. It's hard for me to wash my hair in a bath because I have pink in it and the dye gets in the water and then it stains my skin and I come out looking like a pink Barney. So I do have to take showers if I want to wash my hair or if I just, if it's just a normal day and I'm not stressed out, I will take a shower and not a bath. I am gonna put this big giant statue. <laughs> Where am I gonna put it? You know what? I'm actually gonna put it right in front of the toilet because when I'm on the toilet, Yuna is right there with me. She is my bathroom buddy for life. Something else that I love, Christmas. We all know it. We've all come to accept it. I'm still using a Christmas blanket every day. I refuse to change. Uh, this is just how I am. Oh my God, it's flawless. <gasps> I also have this beautiful Beautiful, beautiful freezer bunny. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm gonna just squeeze another one in right over here. So cute. Put some Christmas banners right there. Oh my God, delete those banners. Those are incredible. And I'm gonna stick this little guy right in the middle. Oh my God, it's amazing. Wow, that's truly breathtaking. I'm gonna get a mirror in there. Beautiful. I, I could use something above the toilet though. I'm still lacking a little bit. <gasps> oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, that's all I'm gonna do for my room. It's very Christmassy themed. I have Yuna sitting there in front of the toilet with me. I got a big old bathtub just the way I like it. Moving on. So the last person we are doing is Plumbella. It has to be Harry Potter themed. It's gotta be all about magic as Harry Potter-esque as I can get it. I just did some Googling and discovered that she is a Gryffindor. So I'm gonna try to make the color scheme match with that. So that's like red, yellow, and like a black, if I'm correct. It's definitely like a red and a yellow, like a mustard yellow and like a dark red. So if I can can make that happen, I can do anything. It's gonna be tough though, it's gonna be tough. <gasps> oh my God, that is so close. I don't like the carpet, but the colors 
are like right there. Oh, that that's gotta be it. That's what I that's what I gotta use. No, at least now the wallpaper can just be like kind of chill. Like maybe we could just do that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna open it up to realm of magic. Take it away, honey. Take it away. It is a bedroom, so I think it should have a bed. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like stick it over here in the corner. I didn't really map out this room too well. But let's see if they have any colors. Ooh. Not Really? I'm choosing my own bed. Realm of Magic, you failed me. Get out of here. I'm gonna go for something like that. I, it clashes so much, it's driving me crazy. But it looks like it could be kind of magical. <laughs> I'm actually gonna move it there. Oh, now I've fixed it. I'll fix the whole issue. I'm gonna put these suitcases as the end tables because I imagine in Hogwarts, they would pack themselves. What a life. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that that's Hogwarts. <laughs> How do I say this? It's um not even close. Oh, and then one of these. Oh my God. You know they have those in Hogwarts. You know they do. All right, what else can I do? Maybe a rug would help this situation. Like a nice, solid, <laughs> easy rug. I know that's kind of boring, but whatever. I also want to put in like a pink-ish section because she also does have like some pink hair. I want to represent it. I'm honestly even considering like blocking this off and putting an archway and then having this room be like a pink. <laughs> and this is to represent the fact that I know she's a cancer and she's emotional because girl me too <laughs> there's the emotional side in the closet where you try to hide it but there's a big arch that just shows everyone how emotional you are because i feel like we are the same cancer babies rise up rise up to the occasion we're ready to cry Ooh, mysterious it looks absolutely disgusting with the rest of the room it looks so icky but i'm doing it anyways she said nobody look in here this is my emotional closet don't look don't look at my emotions all right, now I do want to put some like magical items in here for real, for real. So I am bringing out Realm of Magic again. Oh, look at these. Cr oh my God, they're massive. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so there's like this thing full of all these potions that is perfect. There's this, which is also full of potions. Perfect. I think we should have paintings with like the people on them, like the ones from vampires or something because they'll come alive. You feel me? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I mean, like, come on. This guy's definitely watching you when you sleep. She also wants justice for Bone Hilda. And you know what? I'm right there with you, girl. I'm right there with you. I also feel like she's been disrespected. I just found a bone wand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's this gonna go? Literally, where it, Where am I gonna put this? Okay, well, that looks stupid. I'll find a better place for that in a second. Here lies Bone Hilda. Disrespected. Let's bring out the magic table. What the heck? Why does it sit like that? You know what? I'll just give her a couple different wands. Oh, there's a, there's a wand display case. <laughs> <laughs> that would be better, I think. <laughs> and the wand goes in there. Oh, it's so funny. Okay, because I feel like this one is very like Harry Potter, but then like this one is a bone, like Bone Hilda. It's right next to the remains of her. I think it's good. I think it's good. Ooh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna take away this potions thing and put this beautiful fireplace with like the crystals in it. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I will put this giant crystal ball over here. It's beautiful, it's stunning, never been done before. Oh, I didn't give her a cauldron, idiot. We're a little out of room now. Here's the butterflies, here's this painting. Oh, we'll make them into a potions thing. Oh, that's pretty. There we go, lovely. I hope that's good. I hope I did that justice. I really put a lot of thought into that. I put a lot of thought into all of these. Truly, I was working with what The Sims 4 gives me and that is not a lot, but I think I did a pretty good job. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we have Lauren's room. I couldn't find as many galaxy things as I wanted. Like now that I've seen these like crystal ball things, I kind of want to put them in there. <gasps> Actually, I just thought of something and I'm ashamed that I didn't even think of it. There is a galaxy light show that like needs to be in here. There we go, beautiful. But we have Lauren's room. We have Lizzie's kitchen. We have Stepho Sims dining room. We have Lil Simsy's bedroom, beautiful. We have my bathroom and we have Plumbella's bedroom. Beautiful. I hope I did a good job. I hope I did it all my friends justice. This is really intimidating because I don't want to let anybody down. But that is going to be all for today. If you guys have any other YouTubers that you'd want to see me try to recreate in a room, <laughs> then let me know in the comments down below. I will do my best. It is really hard. There's so much pressure to do good, but it is kind of fun. It is fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. To become part of the early squad, click that notification bell and make sure all notifications are on so you never miss any of my videos. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.